Oh my god, I want to sleep for five more hours. <laughs> I actually got like seven hours sleep last night, which is very good for a 12-hour layover. But uh, so, the bed was so comfortable. The bed was so comfortable. And I was sleeping so soundly. I really would like to have slept longer. But um, did I even say good morning? Hi, welcome back to my channel. It's me, Steven. I don't think I did. Good morning. <sighs> All right, so last night I ate uh, a, a can of chili with some pasta and a little piece of chocolate and then went to bed. And I did not have heartburn, but man, on a full stomach on this bed, <gasps> man, I was out like a light, out like a light. No melatonin needed. I was just like, bam, out like a light. Um, let's see, today we are going to be flying to Nashville today. Um, breakfast is, I'm going to go downstairs for 6.30 for breakfast. The shuttle is at 7, um, 7 a.m. Yesterday, I think I told you it was 6.20. Don't know what I was talking about. Nothing else to say this morning, so I will see you either at breakfast or at the airport. See you soon. As usual, breakfast looks amazing. There's oh, two eggs under that bacon. Very happy. Hey there, hi there, ho there. So, I'm so glad I had breakfast. A good night's sleep, a good hearty breakfast. I'm working with three amazing young ladies on the plane. Our flight time today, one hour, 54 minutes to Nashville. We are completely full, uh, but you know, I like a full plane, so very happy. Hey, Shella. Oh yeah, we're good to board. Oh yeah. Oh, I need a bag. Oh, gloves. We need gloves. That's it. And a bag of money and a nap. A bag of money and a nap? Uh-huh. Thank you. I hate this hotel. I forgot it was this hotel. Hey guys, all right, so we made it to our hotel here in Nashville. It is the world's worst designed hotel ever. Let me show you why. First off is the room. It's not so bad. It's not so bad, right? It is it is what it is. Then, but you go outside and you actually go into the hotel and they're not being very loud right now, but they were very loud earlier. There's some children over in the swimming pool over there, and they were screeching, screeching like animals. Um, yeah, it's it's just a poorly designed hotel. Amazing acoustically, because sound travels for miles. Um, so more complaining, well, not complaining. Um, our flight from Newark here was uh, one hour, 54 minutes. It was really easy, easy, easy flight. Everyone was very nice. No turbulence, no real challenges. Good crew, great crew. Um, we're doing final, which is really probably t less than 10 minutes before we landing. Uh, we're doing final. Um, call bell goes off over uh, and I walk up, not rushing, thinking, what could be happening? We're 10 minutes from landing. <sighs> this passenger didn't just get sick. He enthusiastically got sick. And there are ways like I, I have lots of words to describe how this ended up presenting itself. It was catastrophic. <laughs> catastrophic all over the place all over his bag, all over other people's bags, and he just covered himself. I mean, I've never seen this volume. I, I mean, catastrophic. Uh, and uh, we gave him as much paper towels as we could, bottles of water, garbage bags, and he was very apologetic. And I told him, do not apologize. There's no reason to apologize. He didn't do anything wrong. He just... You know, his body did what it had to do, I guess, in in, in spades. Um, but he was, I mean, when I tell you, he was just wearing it all over. And I'm thinking this poor man, he's not embarrassed. I think he's more shocked that it had happened to him. Um, and he's literally, he's just wearing it all over the place. So I, um, I felt really bad. Um, I went into my suitcase. Um, I left that red shirt I usually wear. I left that at home because it was too heavy for Nashville. I changed it into this really cool uh, Madras plaid uh, shirt I had picked up at Goodwill recently. Thank God it was at Goodwill. I still had the ticket on 
the shirt when I took it out. And I gave him my shirt out of my luggage. Now, I didn't do this out of a saintly act. It wasn't being, like, amazing. It was, I think, just a human being trying to help another human being out. I just wanted him to be able to walk off the plane and through the airport not wearing a shirt full of... Yeah. And then I realized it's the only shirt I have in my suitcase. I did not pack multiple shirts. So all I have is... Uh, another black t-shirt and another work shirt. Ta-da! So, um, I don't have any, <laughs> I don't have a shirt to wear. And I loved that shirt. I loved that shirt. But it was only, it only cost me $6. So, I'm, I did, I'm not like out a lot of money, but I wanted that shirt. But, um, and he didn't wear it. I'm sorry to yell. He didn't wear it. He didn't wear it. He picked it up and he handled it with his hands that were covered in uh, and he comes up and he was all sheepish and kind of embarrassed. He's like, here, I, you know, would you like this back? I did handle it with tainted hands, he said. I'm like, no, it's okay. <laughs> it's okay. You can put it in that bag. I, I'm not going to take it. It's So that was the flight. That was the flight. Uh, colorful. Really colorful. But now I'm here. Um, hopefully the pool is far enough away that I can't hear those kids um, later on today. But uh, it is just after 10, uh, 1030, 1035. And um, Shella and uh, Haley and I are going to meet and go for a walk or go see something. Um, it looks like Broadway, the very popular street uh, in Nashville, is probably like a $20 Uber ride away. I'm not so sure I want to spend that money to walk around and see people. I don't know. I don't know. So we'll, we'll see what happens, but <sighs> I'm just glad to get off that plane. All right. I will see you soon. Maybe I shouldn't try this so soon after talking about someone getting sick, but I found this beverage at Walmart and I bought it just for kicks, just out of curiosity. It's a Hostess Twinkie flavored iced latte. I was just so curious. It looks like a Yoohoo almost. Are you, are you old enough to know what a Yoohoo is? Let's try this, shall we? That was a mistake. That was that was a big genuine mistake. Oh, it's hard. Well, it's a good thing we're leaving the hotel for a little while and not trying to take a nap because there's a lot of teenagers down here. <laughs> All right, where am I going to meet my girls? Shella, look at how pretty, look how pretty, Haley. And then there's me, Bosley. Um, we are out. There's the Troubadour, real country dancing, cold brew food, okay. But there's a vintage shop. We're going to walk in there. And then if you look over there, it says, oh, Catio Cat Lounge. Sorry, the camera's all over. We suspect that might be one of those places you can walk in and hang out with cats. But Shella and I would mean, that would mean we both have to get a cat stick it in our luggage and bring it home but that's the danger but this uh vintage shop looks really fun come hang out with kitties six dollars for 30 minutes <sighs> yes yes oh my god i'm so excited are we doing this ah, i'm so excited look look hi i'm gonna cry i'm already so excited i'm so excited I'm gonna be buying that t-shirt before I leave. And I might have to buy that t-shirt before I leave. <laughs> and then I might have to get this t-shirt before I leave. All right, I am very excited. Oh my God, look at the kitty. All right. Hi. I am, I was, uh, I am, I'm very excited. Look at the kitty. Look at the kitty. Hi. Oh, honey. Oh, honey. Oh, no. Oh, my God. Will they fit in suitcases? Oh, oh very happy. Very happy. 
Oh no, that one over there, right there, that one. Look at the one playing, and that one, and her or him. Oh, <gasps> what a fantastic look! Look, I, I, I can't. Oh my God, my heart, my heart, my heart, my guys. Oh, see that tent? I want to buy one of those little tents. It's like a little tent for cats. Look at this. Isn't that cute? Look. Wow. Hi. Hi. Oh, hi. Oh, hi. Yes. Oh, you sound like my cat. Oh, cat butt. Right there. Big cat butt. Yeah. Yeah. Hi, honey. Hi. Do you want... Yes. Yes. Kitty, kitty. Oh, ho, 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 ho. Oh, I would take you home. I would take you home. All right, I'm gonna say, oh, look at you. Hi, honey. Look at those eyes. Hi. 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 Yeah, I know. Can I say hi to you? No, it's okay. You're very friendly, okay. Hi. Okay, all right. Cutie pie. Oh, hi. <laughs> hi. Can I say hi, honey? I know. Can I say hi? Hi? You know when they like they sniff your finger, that little bit of a breeze? Hi, honey. Can I say hi to you? Yes. Oh, you're a good kitty cat. You're a good kitty. Whoa, yeah, stretch it out. Yeah, stretch it out. What a good kitty cat. Look at these things. I think I have to find these. Look at these, like, oh, look at the face on this one. He's like, what are you doing? I am sleeping. And this one, look at this one sleeping. Oh, I think I need to have, find some of these things. I can see my cat's really enjoying those. What? The face, the face says, why did you leave me? Why did you leave me? Hi. Yeah? Oh, good, good. Good kitty. Oh, honey. Honey. Oh, yeah. Oh. Oh, what a good, good kitty cat you are. Yes. Hi, honey. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Right in the ear. My cat's like that, too. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Look at the kitten. Look at the kitten. Shella and the kitten. Look at that one over on the on the He's like freaking out. <laughs> How many cats are in there? Oh my god. All right. Look at this little camper. Oh no. Oh, oh, that one just went. Look, look, look. Look, honey. Oh, my God. Hi, honey. I don't want to touch the baby. I don't want to wake him up. This one, he is so funny. That is one of the reasons I couldn't get a kitten. <laughs> Buddy, oh, my God. That, Yeah, no, that would not work in my house. Oh. <laughs> oh, can I come over and say hi? Can I come over and say hi? Would you mind a little... Huh? Yeah? Hi. Yeah. Wow, 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 wow. <laughs> Honey? Hi. I love your eyes. Will you let me say hi? Come on, will you say hi? <gasps> You're so beautiful. You're so good. You're so good. It's all in your terms, honey. It's all in your terms. Let me, oh, no, okay, fine. <laughs> Hi, sweetheart. Can may I share may I share this couch with you? May I share? You look like a little a little bit you got a little age on you. You look like you got a little age on you. You feel kinda old, you little honey. Oh, you had a long tail. Look how long your tail is. 
Look how long your tail is. Yeah. Good boy. You're a good baby. You're a good baby. Okay. All right, I sense, I get the, I get the look. I'll just hang out with you for a minute if that's okay. Yeah. And here they have a board with all the cat's names, brief description, and how old they are. Isn't that neat? It's a great little place. I know there's a couple places like this in Las Vegas. I have to go check them out. There's a mom and a baby over here, and there's a cat trying to get... <laughs> There's a cat saying, I want to go home with you. So funny. <laughs> They're in the stroller. <laughs> you want to go home? <laughs> you can go on the bus. You can go on the bus. <sighs> this was a tour bus. Look. How fun is this? I'm, I'm a little tall and my head is hitting the uh, padded roof. Oh my God, can you see? Look, I gotta find out what, like, what group. This is, look at the beds, they have little bunk beds. Oh my God, you guys can't see anything, can you? There's more bunk beds you really can't see. And then back here, I don't know what this little room is, but oh, it's another bed. And there's the thrift store. Or the, not the thrift, or the vintage shop. How cool is this place? All right, walk towards the light, walk towards the light. This is very cool. I gotta find out whose uh, tour bus this was. James Hoot Borden, don't know who that was. Look at you, baby. Hi, honey doll. Look at this little baby. Oh yeah. <laughs> oh, you're beautiful. Can you breathe with that lamb in your mouth? Huh? Huh? Oh, yeah. Oh, yes. You're yeah, a good boy. Or a girl. Hi. Oh, what are you doing? Oh, what are you doing? I don't want to get you all riled up, honey. Oh, honey. Yes. You're good. You're good. All right. Oh, I got you rolled up. Okay. Another sort of vintage shop. Look at that face. The red with the white stripe. Oh, this is my kind of place. All right. Are you gonna? It's gonna. This place has some amazing things. They have amazing things, but the prices are very, very, very high. Look at that lamp. My mouth is watering right now. Two eighty-five. That's gorgeous. That's gorgeous. I'm literally tempted to buy these bookends with these uh, acrylic grapes. I love those. And the pair are just $45. That's amazing. Look at this place. This is like my fantasy right now. Like, look at this. <gasps> Man, if I lived here, I would be shopping here for sure. <laughs> I even like those lamps. Look at this stuff. Oh my gosh. Look at these. Look at those lamps. <sighs> Magic. And that one. I love lamps. Mm, this is not everybody's cup of tea, but this is certainly mine. My mouth is watering. Oh my gosh. Look at this. This is paradise. <sighs> yep, paradise. <laughs> but their prices, oh my God, their prices. Crazy. So I was in that store for probably an hour or so and um, I almost bought those bookends but <clears throat> something stopped me. And there's also another vintage shop right here. Gotta go in. This is fantastic. This is all within walking distance of my hotel. Does anyone remember this? Listen. Hear the little chimes? When the animals rock back and forth. 
This is one of the few toys I remember playing with as a child. Where I mean, I have such disti like distinct memories, but it wasn't mine. It was somebody else's. I don't know who had it, but it wasn't mine. <gasps> oh my God, I'm so tempted just to have it. <laughs> it's such a fantastic thing. $23. Gosh. <laughs> I'm getting emotional just looking at this for some reason. Weird. This is more like, oh, I love that little planter, the lion down there. How cute is that? Um, this is my kind of store. It's definitely more things to look at, small things to touch. And um, I really like this place. And I think there's one more place down the road. Who hats? I've been tempted to buy a hat. Hmm. No, it's only $20, but it's, it's still a no. Loved that little shop. There are two pieces of pottery I'm thinking about buying, but apparently there's another vintage antique store, so gotta go in there. I want this bowl. It's a teak wood bowl and fruit, all hand carved for $46. I love that. I love that. Grapes, there's a banana in there. <sighs> oh my God, it's amazing. It's something to dust, but um, I love that. This is a great little shop. And there's a, I've seen this brass urn probably three times today. I have one in my garage somewhere. Oh, there's a bird. That's it. You put that in a pie so that it doesn't bake over or boil over. And I was looking at this piece of pottery. I love this little lizard. So cute. It's a great little shop. Uh, this store is amazing. It's amazing. I'm buying two pieces of pottery here instead of the pieces that the other store I was in because I love them. They make no sense. One is a covered casserole that I'll probably never use. And there's a teapot, coffee pot that I'm probably never going to use. But I look at them and they make me happy, 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 happy. Like, like overjoyed. They were marked down and then they're 15% off of that. So um, they're rational prices. And if I want to resell them in the future, I certainly can make some money off of them. But I just, I, you never see something that you don't need, but you really want. It's kind of like a man, you know, you don't need them, but it's nice to have them once in a while, you know, but um, I'm so excited. I'll show you when I get back to the hotel room. I don't know how I'm getting them home at all, but I'll show you at the hotel. Hey guys, so I'm back in the hotel room. I just finished my dinner uh, of some Progresso lentil soup and I had some uh, pasta salad. It was delicious. Not a classic combination, but it was filling. It was yummy and economical because I have spent a little bit of money on this layover. I'm going to show you what I bought. I am very excited about it. But first, I want to share with you a short story, as short as my stories get, right? So, I'd say probably a week and a half ago uh, or so, a friend of mine, Leanne, you've met Leanne, um, she posted something on Facebook. And I forget what the post was. I forget what my reply was. All I know is that I didn't text it. I used voice text. And you know how dangerous that is, right? So I used voice text in my reply. And a part of that reply was, I love my job. All right, simple and innocent, right? voice text. Uh, so flash forward a few hours, I see notifications on my Facebook uh, scroll down thing saying um, people have commented on my comment. And it turns out that the voice text said I lost my job instead of loved my job. So everyone was reacting like, oh my God, what happened? They all thought I got fired. I tried to correct everybody and I edited my reply, but apparently bad news travels faster than good news because still over the past couple of days, people have approached me saying, Stephen, I don't want to tell you who's saying these things because I don't want to start rumors, but people are saying you got fired. Are you okay? And I'm like, I'm so flattered that everyone seems to be so upset about it, uh, but I did not get fired. <laughs> Oh my God, not yet, um, but I did not get fired. I just used voice text and it said I lost my job instead of I love my job. So 
I find it amusing and also flattering that people were so upset. But there's my funny little story. Um, so let me show you some of the things I bought on my layover. I am so excited. Uh, now, I, I'm trying to also rationalize the purchase, also a purchase I'm thinking of making. It's so bad. But, I'm, you know, I'm trying to rationalize by thinking my last layover in New York City, I spent like $47, $45 on train tickets for everybody. And then I spent like 40 something dollars on um, sandwiches and food and stuff. And I spent on coffee. I spent a ton of money in New York City. In the end, I ended up with a sandwich and a couple train tickets and some coffees. And a very nice experience with an amazing crew. So, but I spent a lot of money in New York that time. So I'm trying to rationalize. I'm not doing heroin, right? I mean, I could be doing drugs. But no, I'm buying things at vintage shops that I love, right? All right, so um, I'm feeling sort of defensive on, on my purchases here. Um, but this is a t-shirt from the Cat Sanctuary that I think you... I'm sure I've included lots of video about it, but this is a t-shirt I bought from the Cat Sanctuary. It says, Real Men Love Cats. I love this t-shirt. It's very soft. It's nice, beefy cotton, and it's cute. I'll wear it. Um, and it supports the Cat Sanctuary. It was 20 bucks for the t-shirt, but it's supporting those cats. I didn't tell you. Oh, this video is all over the place. While we were there buying our t-shirts, um, an elderly couple came into the cat sanctuary to, um, to, um, I forget what they called it, to give their cat up. They were giving up, they're giving up their cat, giving it away. I don't know what the story, maybe they're just getting too old and they can't take care of it or something. But, um, the husband didn't seem bothered by it, but the wife, you could see her heart break. It was awful. It was awful. But they had the cat in the carrier. And I keep trying to think, well, you know, the cat's going to a beautiful place full of other cats, food, lots of attention. People pay to go pet these cats. So it'll be in a good place until it's adopted by another family, right? So, uh, but that was very sad when we were in there and that cat was being like surrendered. That was the word. They were surrendering the cat. Uh, but I went to a couple of vintage shops after the cat sanctuary and I did a couple, I made a couple purchases. Let me show you what I bought. First, um, I have a growing cat figurine collection. They're figurines, they're little cats that I love and they touch me somehow. I don't love every cat figurine, so please don't start sending cat figurines. I love you, but don't. Um, if I see something and it's affordable and rational, I'm gonna buy it. And this one I thought was absolutely sweet. Look at the glaze. The glaze is so pretty. It's so pretty. It actually looks like one of the cats that was in the sanctuary. Uh, but this little cat figurine, this is the size of my palm, and it was $7. It was $7. I couldn't not buy it. It was $7. Bucks. Um, and I bought a book I don't think I own. There is a chance I may have just purchased this at Goodwill. But if I didn't, I'm very happy. Um, it's a book by Stephen King. It's some short stories. And the more I think about it, the more I think I just bought this book at Goodwill. Oh, well. Um, I can give it to somebody or resell it. But um, it's a, a collection of short stories. I paid $7 for that book, and I was very happy. It's a $30 hard, uh, hardcover. So there you go. So I bought those two things and the T-shirt. Then, as I'm walking through this uh, vintage shop, I saw this, and my heart stopped. My my heart literally was like, mm, stop. <sighs> I lost it. I love mid-century modern. Everyone does. I love mid-century modern cookery. I just think it's the most amazing time uh, in terms of style uh, for, for housewares. I saw this piece and I knew I loved it. I knew I would I would use it. And even if I didn't use it, it would be a great decorative object. Uh, and um, eventually my kitchen will be uh, attractive or uh, looks like a human lives there. But this piece is a covered casserole proving 
cementing the fact that I really am an old lady. It's a covered casserole. I lost my mind. Um, it is this sort of turquoise. Look at the finish on that glaze. It is delicious. I could lick this uh, and be happy. But it's a covered casserole that you lift up. It is by a company called, um, what's it called? I forgot. Bennington Pottery. Uh, Bennington Pottery out of Vermont. Um, first, I think Norris was the first major pottery uh, company out of Bennington, and that was a very, 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 very long time ago, probably the 1800s, 1900s. Um, but um, Bennington Pottery has been producing pieces for many, 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 many moons. This piece, from what I can tell, was made in 1967, 1968 possibly. Um, hand finished, hand done. Um, the glazing is done by hand. The handle, the finial here, um, was applied by hand. And underneath the covered casserole comes this piece. It's also pottery, as you can see, also marked. And it's got these teak wood handles across the bottom. Now, I did uh, look this piece up before I bought it because uh, if I don't keep it for some reason, I can resell it. This piece was, I forget what they had it originally marked at, $70, $78, something like that. I ended up paying $39 for this. I was thrilled to pay $39 for this. I've seen a similar piece, not so large. This is the larger one. I saw a, a smaller piece in a less attractive, like mustard color. Uh, for like 165 or something. So I could easily resell this for double, if not triple, what I paid for it. But I don't want to resell it. This is something that I think I'm going to keep for the rest of my life. Um, I absolutely, my heart stopped. I can't even describe to you how my heart stopped. And then next to it was the teapot. <sighs> now, everything about it from this handle to its finial, of course, the color of the glaze, its condition, which is flawless, um, and the glaze. I think in this, you can kind of see how the white is more opaque here, and you can kind of see where that's right here. This is all hand glazed, hand finished. Um, hands were all over this piece. They still make the trigger handle, which, which this is called uh, today. Uh, and but it's just much more manufactured and rounded and like restaurant wear where this piece was made a little bit more obviously by hand and then applied. Um, I lost there's one crack, there's one little teeny crack right here. You might be able to see it. Uh, but this piece, from what I understand, might have been made in the late 60s. It's older than me, and I have more cracks than this one. Um, I can't tell you when I, I can't tell you how I reacted when I saw these things. I lost my mind. I mean, I've, I don't know if I've ever felt this swoon. I literally swooned. That's the word. When I saw these two pieces, um, this, um, I paid $29 for, I think I paid $29 for this teapot. I'm going to use this teapot. I'm going to use it on purpose because I love it so much. Um, I have other teapots that I've used, but this is like amazing. Um, and I've seen it on um, listed for a lot more than $29. So again, I could easily triple my money if I want to resell this. And that leads me into a piece that I just made an offer on on eBay. I was powerless. I was powerless over this piece when I saw it. Let me show you what, what I offered. One sec. This. Oh, 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 oh my God. I'm like, my head is pounding when I just look at it. It's so gorgeous. And it's the same glaze as the one that I have, the pieces that I have right now. Uh, that's, the, that's the picture. That's the base, the bottom, I should say. Uh, and if I go over here, these were stickers uh, from the current owners, and you can see it was uh, made in 1966 or 1967 in Bennington, Vermont. I do not trust this price tag. This is a tag that is uh, is here. I'm not sure if that's from a reseller or something, but they had it listed at $400, which is as like just not even 
not even rational. So it was never going to be $400. But they don't make these pieces anymore. Not, I mean, I think from the 60s. I can't find anything else like it. There is one brown version, which I didn't like for $39. This one is listed at $65. I offered $55. So we'll see if they accept my offer. But um, again, I'm trying to rationalize my purchases here. I don't buy anything outside of Google anymore. I walk through a Target and I'm like, the only thing I bought recently at Target was like, um, Christmas stocking stuffers. That's that's it. Everything else I buy is at um, Goodwill. Did I, did I tell you about the guy that got sick on the airplane? The shirt. It was a gorgeous shirt and I missed it. I didn't even wear it once. I paid $6 for it at Goodwill. So it was easy to give away. Um, but so that's the, those are the things I bought today. I'm trying to rationalize the items so that no one out there in, in YouTube world is going, Stephen, we just sent you a, a gift card for Dunkin' Donuts so you can feed yourself. And here you are buying pottery. <laughs> yes, I, I was powerless. I was powerless. So that leads me to one question and one comment that I want to wrap this video up with. First off, question. Do you have any collections? Do you collect anything? I'm literally going through eBay and Poshmark and Macari and all these websites looking for pieces that go with this collection. But it's this lid. They don't. I don't think they did this since like the since the 60s. But I'm looking for pieces that are similar that match this collection. I don't like their current modern stuff because it looks like Pottery Barn to me. But this stuff, this old stuff is just magic. But what do you collect? Let me know. And does your collection, did your collection um, build organically? Did you see something and love it and then find pieces along the way? Or did you tell the wrong people that you love owls and suddenly everyone's giving you owls? So let me know what you have for collections and how your collection grew. And the last thing I'm going to remind you of is that I'm doing um, a giveaway. I've got a couple more days if you want to do something to enter into my giveaway for the Sabbath Heat little mini oven thing that I've got to give away. It's brand new. I got it on sale. Trying to rationalize spending. Uh, but do something nice, kind, thoughtful. Um, just today, just today, I did two things I think that would qualify for this giveaway. The guy at the, the airport with the wheelchair, that was truly, that was a terrifying experience. It, it could have been much worse. But then um, I gave that guy my shirt today on the aircraft. You know, that's two things that could have, uh, that could have qualified me for giving, getting that uh, thing. You don't have to do anything specific. Just try to be nice, kind, generous, thoughtful to other people. And then leave a comment in the section below uh, so that we all know what you did. And hopefully we'll inspire each other to do small, kind gestures that might just make a little, I don't know, a little dent in somebody's day. Not going to change the world, but who knows, you know? I think that's it. This video is all over the place. I do apologize for that. But um, yeah, this is my life. <laughs> I will see you guys tomorrow. All right. Fly safe. Bye.